today our bad news was confirmed. We were trying to be ho hopeful about it, but it looks to, it's Friday, of course, so we won't have the definitive answer until Monday, but it doesn't look so good for Calypso's rudders. Want to see how fast you can go from no repairs needed to major repairs needed? Let's do it. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. doesn't look so good for Calypso's rudders. Um, we originally pulled off the starboard rudder to change a bearing out because it was kind of making a click noise. We could hear it at night while we sleep. So we first noticed the issue while at anchor. While in bed, our heads are near the rudder and we'd hear a gentle tapping sound that drove us nuts all night. Upon further inspection, we found that the rudder had free play in it. What do you think about the rudder? Well, it needs bearings, that's for sure. So we wanted to see what was going on under there. It actually turned out that the bearing wasn't there at all. It's completely non-existent. At the same time, we were like, okay, let's do the other side, the uh, port side, and um, check the, the bearings out there. Well, when they pulled that off, which is funny because we almost went back on that decision so we could get splashed and get cruising, but they did it before we could get here, so everything happens for a reason ironically but when they pulled it off they noticed that uh the pole was bent the pole actually called a stock should have been centered as you can see here it's leaning aft this isn't good i'll throw it to jeremiah to give the details on that but all in all it looks like it won't be safe to cruise i mean if we we're just hanging out in a bay anchored not doing any cruising then i'm sure we'd be absolutely fine but it's definitely not something that I feel safe with, Jeremiah feels safe with, or we put our child in danger with. So it's pretty crazy, but Jeremiah can get into the details of that. So now we're just wrapping up the boat. It's on the hard. It's really, really hot. We have to close all the windows because they're fiberglassing next door. We don't need any cancer-causing little agents going into our body. So it's hot, but Jeremiah's been doing the water strainers, and I've been sitting here drinking wine takes all the worries away. Uh, 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 Sweet little hotel in Grenada. This is where we're staying while the boat's on the har, getting some work done. It's actually really, really nice and really, really cheap. Grenada's pretty cheap. It's nice having a full bedroom, sexy little balcony. Ooh. And then lots of pools around here. It's also nice having a good sized bathroom before we head back to the boat, but I love the boat bathroom. So let's go see what Jeremiah is up to while we're here waiting on boat stuff. We are knocking out videos. Hello. How's that video going? Good. We're going to thumbnail. Can I take a peek? Mm -hmm. Ooh. We just previewed it. That was a great video, honey. Sweet little dive. Thanks, babe. One of our favorites, I think. You seem to really like this video. Yeah, I do. It was fun, like, watching it. It's been a while since we were uh, there. Turks and Caicos dive and stuff. I like the scuba diving videos, so. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. We're in a little bit of a holding pattern. Can you tell me why? We went to check that loose rudder bearing on the starboard side, and during that, I told him, hey, go ahead and pull the other side to the port side just to replace them as a spare, the two bearings. When they pulled the port side, they found that the tube for the port rudder was bent. And it appears that somebody along the way had maybe backed into something, hit the rudder, bent the rudder tube, and we're trying to get a new rudder. We're not going to cross an ocean this year, but we're not going to cross an ocean without a new rudder on there because it's bent and stainless steel. Uh, can get a little weak when you mess with it. I went over there today. Our rudders are laying all over the place in the yard. Oh, well, I'm about to head over there and organize a little bit, so I'll check them out. That's cool. It's about a five minute drive. I haven't really done too much with the boat. 
but today was the day we were supposed to hopefully splash so we were only prepared with like clothing and stuff up until today i'm gonna run over there switch out some clothing maybe organize a little bit i think i've been living in limbo just because i don't know what's going on with the rudder how soon we can get in the water if we have to wait for a new rudder so many questions and really it just depends on everybody else's answers at this point so we're kind of in the waiting game let's go take a peek <coughs> going to show you the rudders but Jeremiah could probably do a better job but they also take one of the rudders the one to fix it so that's great this morning when Jeremiah came by it was still here so I was like oh knowing how boat stuff goes they would take it on a Friday and you wouldn't know till Monday but that's fine because you just have fun during the weekend but the boat's also super dirty it's a boat yard I hate seeing the boat like this they are fiberglassing and doing major boat work on the boat next door to us right over there the boat's real dirty. That's okay. It's left just how we left it. We took everything inside so they could clean it up real nice when we leave. I'm sure it'll get blazing hot when I'm in here. I don't like to open up the windows because I don't want all that stuff coming inside the boat. So I just sweat it out, to be honest. I just sweat it out. Burning calories. Hi. Welcome. It's raining out there. Yeah, so everybody was gone for the day when I got there. Sweet. But our rudder was gone. Which rudder? Our port rudder. Yeah, it's been gone. What do you mean it's gone? Was oh. it in front of the steel shop? No. It wasn't laying in front of the steel shop? I didn't go over there. I, it was it's gone from the boat. right in front of the steel shop. Oh, I thought it was at the boat still. It's been there for days. Oh my gosh, where have I been? <laughs> See? See all the stuff that goes on? That I'm on top of? Well, um... The rudder is over at the steel, at the metal worker's shop. Okay. Well, I couldn't talk about the rudder because it's been pouring rain, so we're going to stop by there. So you can tell all them okay. about it. I also had to move the scuba tanks to um, put clothes away. Where did you move them? It was like a game of Tetris. I just sat them all up. They're all standing up now? Well, no. Are they laid back down? Where are they? I laid them back down. In the same spot? Yeah. Don't need to go check. No. Right. I knew you'd ask me that. Yeah, did you open any windows or anything like that? No, because I'm too scared of getting cancer from fiberglass. Did you? Are they still over there doing that? Yeah. Did you look at the power at all? No, but I did turn on lights. Turn the lights off? I did. I turned the lights off, honey. I also turned on cabin fans. You turned the cabin fans yes. off? Yes! Oh my goodness! I don't know why you have to mess with stuff, man. What do you want me to do? Last, last night, wondering, are the cabin fans on the boat? Honey. Is there a hatch open? It's raining. Is there a hatch open? You do know I need to be able to see when I go over there and it's blazing hot, so I do turn on cabin fans. But you did turn them off? Yes! Like at the circuit breaker? Yes. Oh my goodness. No wonder, no wonder you're a ball of stress. You're well, cutting years a, off there, your life. There's been a lot of... No, there has not. Yeah. That's a bunch of bull there's crap. a lot of things that have gone wrong over the years. Just let it go. Oh, what you got there? This box. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's some dirty water. Yeah, it smells good. You got the third one off? Yep. Honey, you're pouring sweat. I know, it's hot. Poor one. Oh, it's stinky. Yeah, it's the water. It smells like raw eggs. That's why, uh... Oh my gosh. You gotta empty those things. The water inside the strainers gets nasty. If it just sits. Good job on purging the water maker. I know that was a stress for you. Yeah, it's great. One of the things that is concerning for me about being on the heart is the water maker. Our last one uh, on the Lazy Gecko, we had to actually remove the mem membrane, send it off to have it preserved. Well, the Spectra one that we have now is supposed to do a cell flush every 30 days by itself, which is really cool. Before we leave, because we're going to be leaving the boat for a little bit here while we're waiting on this new rudder, I'm going to go ahead and flush it so it resets the 30-day cycle. Just because if I can be here for it, I'd rather be here for it. So basically all I have to do is I have a little sign in case somebody comes on the boat, fresh water must be on. I make sure the fresh water pump is on and there's water in the tanks. I think it takes about five gallons to do the flush. 
And then all I have to do is hit the auto store button and hold it for like five seconds and it goes into a fresh water flush and you can hear the water. That's why the water pump has to be on because it's taking fresh water from our water tanks and sending it through the membrane, flushing it, and then there's a little charge in there with like a silver ion deal. It shoots silver ions in the water, which helps it not grow bad stuff in it for the 30 days. And then it should do the flush again. Right now outside, there's water pouring out the boat, but it's okay. It's all muddy around here anyway, so. That's it, it will go through the fresh water flush for five minutes, five, five six minutes, and then it just resets for it's like 700 and some hours or something like that, 30 days. And as long as you have power on your boat, solar, charged, as long as you have your battery power on this water maker, you're good to go. And fresh water in your tank. Yeah, fresh water. I'll Howdy. leave this here. Okay. It'll be there in two months, don't worry. <laughs> what did you think about purging it? Well, it's cool. I didn't know, you know, whether or not we'd be able to purge the water maker on the on land. Cause I didn't know if you needed fresh water and, or like raw water to do something with the system, but it only used all the fresh water, so it's good. You feel good about leaving it on the hard like this? Yeah. Originally uh, around Crooked Island, I was just on the boat and I was checking the rudders and I felt the starboard rudder was had movement up top. Um, and we, we put that on the videos before. We, we talked to the engineers and everybody and the way that our rudder's designed with a skeg keel and has a pole going down where it's held by a shoe underneath. It was determined that it was going to be safe. It's fine. So we were going to change it out here. We're at the point now where the rudder is on the ground. Uh, it looks like the rudder has a huge, like the stock has a huge pit in it. And it looks like I see a crack. Hi. I can't believe he's napping. Yeah. Well, when he wakes up, we'll go over to the boat, finalize some things. Now we have time to get the bottom painted, so that's kind of cool. We were just gonna throw it in the water and go take off and cruise, because we were waiting on shipping for the bottom paint, found out about the rudder, so now we can do them both, and we don't need to haul out next season, which is even better. Hello. Hello. Are you my chauffeur? You ready? I'm ready. I think the seatbelt might be broken. You're right. I'm ready. So we will head over to the boat. Right now the boat is sitting on the hard with no rudders on whatsoever. We talked about doing like a temporary fix on it, all this different stuff, but it's not gonna really, I don't think it's gonna work out. So we're gonna go to the boat wrap everything up and go take care of a few other things in the meantime. Now we're gonna be able to go ahead and get it painted, uh, get the rudder done right, and then we shouldn't have to haul out for a couple more years, which is cool. Hauling out, is, it's easy, but it's like, it's kind of sketchy, man. Oh, here we go. Hi. Hi. Okay, go right ahead. Thanks. The boat yard. It's actually a great boat yard. Yeah, this place is called Spice Island Marine. It's one of the better reviewed boat yards in Grenada. Everybody we've had, you know, every friend, all the friends we've had come here were happy. And you know, we've been happy with them too. Oh, they've been great. I love how they put us right next to the office. Uh, we would be living on the boat, I think, if there wasn't so much work going on next door. Yeah, these guys over here are like refitting, like they're staying in fiberglass right now, they're doing it. I don't even like having the baby here with that going on. You know what, let's go over to the other rudder real quick. They moved the bad rudder over to the little metal working shop and um, oh look, it's actually been moved. Huh, why? Maybe because I told them don't worry about it? I don't know, it was laying on the ground before. Let's check it out. So this is the rudder stock. It's basically just a pipe. These things are built as one big piece. So you can't just replace the stock or the pipe. You can't just replace that, it's all one piece. When we opened up the top of this thing when it was in the boat, immediately we saw that the stock was bent and it's bent to aft. So that was a problem. We didn't really know where it was bent because you can't really tell when it's in the boat. So we had to drop it. And then once we did, you could tell the stock is straight all the way down to right above 
the tip of the rudder here where you can find a couple problems. First off, there's rubbing all in here where it was rubbing the front of the tube that this thing sits in, which means it's like kind of bent that way. And there's cracks. There's two big cracks right in here and there's a big divot right over here. It's like a pit out of the metal. So it was basically kinked right here. The only way that's gonna happen is if, you know, maybe it was backed up and this thing was basically folded like that and that was the weak point. This is stainless steel, you know, it gets really brittle when you try to heat it up and, and bend it and stuff like that. And then we've talked about maybe trying to patch that. We've talked about removing this little, this like a little uh, bar in here that you can put your tiller in, the emergency tiller. Removing that and sliding another pipe down inside of here and reforcing and we're just gonna replace the rudder. So um, I don't know how much it's gonna be. I'm expecting the rudder probably cost about $2,000. Maybe between 500 and 1,000 for shipping. I hope not. <laughs> I want it here quicker. Yeah. Oh. So we can drop it in the water and stop spending money here. Yeah. Everything is a little more difficult while on the hard. Simple tasks such as coming aboard take more effort. Another thing is that you lose some systems on the boat because they require ocean water to operate. A major one lost here is the air conditioning because it's hot. Yeah. Normally I take my shoes off, but it's dusty. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the boat up. Um, we have pretty much everything else done. The boat's really pretty much ready to go, except now it doesn't have rudders. We're gonna go do a few things in the meantime, or we're waiting for this part, and uh, we'll be back in about 45 days. It's sad. I was ready to take off in like two or three days. It was like a last minute find. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we found it. Yeah. Who knows what could have yeah. happened, but. Well, you know, with these rudder stocks, some people say, oh, you can bend it back uh, if it's bent. Some people say you can't. It's a stainless steel tube. It's probably better not to, but we don't even have that option because um, it's pitted like it's cracking and stuff. So, it's going to snap in half. And it, yeah, it's down near the rudder. It's not up towards the top of the, the, the thing. But either way, I think we would go with replacing it just because we don't just cruise around a bay. We, we, we do hit weather. We do hit big seas and you know, it's not worth it. So if there's any, any discrepancy when it comes to like a rudder or the integrity of a rudder, we're gonna replace it. Do it right. It's nice because we can clean up the inside of like where the rudders are and all that kind of stuff. You know, one more thing that, you know, it's cool to kind of oh, give it an overhaul every once in a while. I like doing, doing that kind of stuff too. So should be good. Well, the boat's prepped and put to bed. We're off to do a little more exploring. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, yep. ready. 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 Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. This is about $5 a foot. Oh my gosh. Blonde bombshell beauty. Oh, oh, you're so ah, the redoing of the lines. Uh, this is our new rudder. We noticed that they were off center, so we're manually having to adjust them. Try to match up that line. Loosen up this little bolt and pump it a couple times. Feeling good, man. And now I hear some type of motor. Dremels are awesome. Put safety wire through here. Put this little three-way valve in here. This one here is the voltage sensor. Fox is still on the on regulation. I appear to be the only one wearing a mask. Drones flying above us. The maximum for our whole passage will be 21.3 knots. This is day one of our trip from Grenada back to the United States. All right. We'll hit the Statue of Liberty, that'd be bad. Here's up the East River. We are on the East River. We are coming into Hell Gate. Seems well. Yeah. The thing is, there's no power to this at all right now. None. Stop saying that's weird. Tell me something. 
How weird. Isn't that weird? That's never happened before. Mm -hmm. So they say that when you anchor off of Heart Island, lights will flicker on your boat. They specifically say lights will flicker on your boat. And I was just coming out, turn the lights on, Lucy lights on, whatever. And I come by and see it. I check, I check my bills pumps, which they're on. That is, this is a flicker. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.